Yeah. Whatever this. I really don't like the way you teach. And Miss Murphy, I think there's a poo on the floor. Oh, my days, what did I do? Did I do that, though? Yeah. Did I do that, though? Okay, right. mm, Miss Murphy, there's definitely a poo on the floor, and uh, there's a footprint in it. Okay. Oh, the most awkward moment. Well, I've had to do a bit of sex ed for the little ones. And they ask questions, and they're like, what's public hair? I've got awkward moments with kids, boys. Kids having crushes. Oh, oh. It's always awkward. So we have silent reading, and I have a, a kind of soft area for like people who've done really well, and they can lounge on the sofa. And anyway, 15 minutes into the silent reading, I just like to say it. Yeah, I just do a quick walk around, and then I just see this movement. <gasps> like, oh my god! It's like, oh, um, would you, uh, would you like to go to the bathroom? Receiving strange gifts. I've had a few. Food that has been eaten. A box of paracetamol. Jewellery that's been stolen, clearly. A clay effigy of my head. My friend, teacher friend, uh, a child gave her weed once. I bought this for you because um, <laughs> it helps my mum. Seeing students or parents in public. Most of the times that if they see me, it's like an outer body experience. They can't believe that you exist outside yeah. of the school environment. Yeah. I was coming down um, some escalators into the tube and then a little boy and his dad were coming up and he just went... Staff room romances. Ooh. Ooh. I actually got married to the guy that I met at school. I'm joking, I'm bloody single. No, I don't. I'm in a primary school, there are no male teachers. If you get like a male, relatively attractive, all the women are just like, oh, who's the new teacher? You know, when you get outside visitors and there's men in the building, it's like, <laughs> yeah. like restrain the students. Oh yeah, when the firemen came to school. Oh my goodness. It you only work six hours a day and have loads of holidays. Oh my God, can I punch every person in the throat that says that? I wake up at six, I get into school at seven. Saturday Academy is staying late, parents' evening, yep. open evening. Giving up your weekend. The best way to respond to this is, yeah, no, it's so good. Maybe I should react like that, because usually yeah. my normal reaction is like, no. <laughs> I think I used to react like that. Yeah. As time's passed, I've just learned that no matter how much I defend myself, people always think I'm a slacker. Yeah. Okay, end of term parties. Raucous, and was the reason I gave up drinking. And I think, oh, teachers, by the time we get to the end of term, Christmas party, summer party. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because then it all comes out, doesn't it? End of term parties, people get drunk, people start saying things that they shouldn't be saying, and then everyone finds out the gossip, and so much pressure all term, and you're like, Ugh! and then and then you're at this party, and you're like, oh, hello. Yeah. The hardest thing about being a teacher? Oh. Not being able to do as much as you want. And when they're upset and you know things are going on outside of the school environment and you want to control you want to that as involved, much as possible. You want to make it better and, and you at can't. the same time. The hardest bit about teaching is when you leave the class. Yeah. I have them for a whole year. The first year I had one class, every single, I went around every single child and gave them a medal and on the medal it said something about them that was really good and then we all left the classroom and it was going to the parents and everyone was crying, yeah. including me, and then they were like, what have you done? I was like, I'm sorry, it's emotional. The best thing about being a teacher? The kids. Yeah, the kids. The kids are amazing. It's hilarious every single they day. They are so it's... funny. It is honestly like being with 30 people who have had a little drink. You stay up till two in the morning and you question why you're doing this and you question life and then you step in the classroom and you have one of the best lessons. And that moment when they get it, when all these ones and zeros all of a sudden make a number and it's just like, it's that, oh, I get it now. Kids, our kids don't want to go to school, so we have to convince them. But actually, when you can, there's just yes. this magic moment that you, it's, it's, the kids it, want to go it's, learn, yeah. oh. Oh, what are we doing tomorrow, miss? Yeah. Despite, yeah, the paperwork, yeah, <laughs> the pressure. The politics, <laughs> yeah, the parents, yeah. Yeah, we'd still do it again, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it, it's, it's, oh, it's warm and fuzzy and magic and, and it's bloody necessary, so can go and become a teacher. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> it's hard.